Hey fiends, this is Donna Jean from Donna Jean's Coffee House on the Women in Horror channel, which will be coming to you on YouTube starting July. And I have with me uh, the lovely and my wonderful friend, Michelle Santiago. And I've been trying to talk Michelle into doing an interview since the New Year's Evil convention at Pop Rock in Horror. And I finally uh, was able to long distance twist her arm. And yeah. I'm happy <laughs> like to introduce you to, to Michelle. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so Michelle, um, we were talking about it a little bit here and there, but how did you end up getting into acting? Um, I guess it was like maybe 13 years ago now. Um, I saw a casting call for Transformers and I went there, I went to the, the casting call, had my picture taken, all that stuff, and they didn't call me for it. But I still wanted to keep trying, maybe the next time I'll get something. So then I, I, I did some like student films, small films, and got little parts in there, even like just background stuff. And so it kind of just took off from there. I just kept submitting for stuff and auditioning and boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and boom, boom, boom. And uh, here you are, the next thing you know, we're gonna be, uh seeing you in Terrifier 2. Yes. And um, by the way, seeing you in Terrifier 2, um, we were hearing that it was going to be coming out around like in October. But with the current state of what's going on with the uh, coronavirus and all of that, uh, how do you perceive the current state of the film industry as being impacted right now? And is that going to still happen in October, do you think? Well, I sure hope so. Um... I know that Damien is holed up somewhere editing like crazy, so we could possibly be set for that date around around Halloween. Um, right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's tough for a lot of people that this is their full-time gig and now they're sitting at home and they can't do anything. They're not getting unemployment. Like, they're just waiting patiently for the next, the next news briefing and okay, we're going to be at home for another 30 days, 30 days. Um, I don't know, because it's not like you can go on set and wear a mask, you know, and you, or, right. or be six feet apart. Like, so I have no idea. I think it's going to hurt a lot of people, hurt, hurt, the, hurt the business, but mm. eventually we'll get back to it, even if it takes a while. But yeah, I'm hoping oh, that. Uh, I'm sorry. When you say Damien, you mean Damien Leone, who is pretty much yeah. the man behind Yes. Yeah. Art the clown. I'm behind Terrifier. Terrifier too. Yep. <laughs> so, with all of that, uh, all of the filming was done prior to the whole stay-at-home home orders and all that. Um, no, there's a couple more days of filming, I believe, but mm. for the most part, most of it's most of it's been filmed. So the parts that we see of people wearing masks, we know are the parts that haven't yeah. been filmed yet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Art comes out with a mask and <laughs> kills people from a safe distance. <laughs> well, yeah. David is pretty tall. He could just get, you know, get a long pole and. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, you're, uh, from what I understand, your children are also actors. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, sure. Um, they've only done one, one thing each, but. Um, my daughter, Arabella, um, she was in a, a student film a couple years ago. I think she was like two or three years old. Um, oh, wow. My little part, just playing kid on the, <laughs> playing with some blocks. Um, my son, Dominic, was actually on Gotham um, in season three. He was baby Bruce Wayne. Uh, ah. So, yeah, he was nine months old. Was, he was so good on set. It was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so he's he's in picture. He's like set dressing. He's in pictures with um, Bruce Wayne's father. Um, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, they they've done one thing, and hoping that if they want to, you know, start doing some other stuff as they get older. Following I'm not mom's put, footsteps. Yeah, they're both they're both pretty uh, <laughs> comedic, and I think that they would be really good at it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So we keep, uh, I keep kind of jumping back to the Terrifier, but uh, you're, you're also, you're not only an actress in Terrifier, you're also an associate producer. 
Uh, yeah. How did you, did you find there was any conflict? How did that flow together for you? Um, no conflict. Um, for the associate producers, we got some, we're, we've been getting some behind the scenes stuff and, you know, we're kept up to date with the stuff and it didn't interfere with anything that I was doing as on set or being an actress. I mean, I, I was also, while I wasn't on camera, I was just watching, watching all the other scenes and just taking it all in and taking some pictures that I can't show anybody until after it comes out. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was neat seeing, it was neat being in front of the camera and behind the camera, like, you know, behind the scenes and, and watching it all, watching it all play out. I think you guys That's are going to really enjoy it. Yeah. That would be so fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> now, did you have a relationship with the Terrifier crew before the film? How did that all happen? When did you meet those guys? Um, I met Damien and Dave um, at New Jersey Harcon last spring. I actually worked with Damien. I was working with him at his table. And I actually, I had never seen... I had never seen Terrifier before that, and and the for my first meeting with the two of them, I see Dave coming down in costume, and he's like waving at people and like really creepy, and it was amazing. Um, so that after the convention, I I went home and I watched Terrifier, and I was hooked. <laughs> and then you know I see them I see them at other conventions, and so yeah, that's how I met them last year. There is a. Uh... Definitely with that whole crew, having seen them at conventions a couple of times myself, they're a family. Yeah. They're really a family. And of course, when I've seen them at conventions, I've seen you there sitting with, with Dave. And uh, so, yeah, you're, you're part of the Terrifier family in every way. <laughs> yeah, they're a great bunch of people. Um, the cast, the crew, they're just, they're just awesome. They are, they're, yeah, they're fun. <laughs> So, uh, speaking of conventions, um, you and I have known each other for quite some time. You've been one of my con sisters, and that's been a, a, a just a wonderful thing for me because I love you and you're amazing. Okay. Love you too. <laughs> um, when did you start volunteering for cons? How did you get involved with that? Um, I think it was like seven or eight years ago. I um. I applied to work at, I had never been to a convention like as a attendee before. Um, um, I applied to Wizard World Philly like seven, I guess seven years ago and uh, to be a volunteer. And I just, I had so much fun like interacting with people and just uh, seeing the interaction with the, the celebrity guests and the, and their fans and just, it was just a cool, it was a cool atmosphere and like people just, you could just wear whatever you want, be whoever you want. And it's just a cool, cool environment. And I just stuck with it. And now I do like 20 conventions a year. <laughs> so when you have time to act, <laughs> right? <laughs> Although this year, my goodness, it's uh, sad that everything is being put on hold. And now it seems as though they're all happening the same weekends. So I know that's, I'm, that's I'm having difficult. a conflict with the conventions we are in, now. in the fall and late summer. I mean, hopefully they go on as planned, but if it's not safe, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't even want to go there. I don't want to, we'll right. wait till it's safe for everybody to be in a group and it just sucks because like you're used to going and seeing all these people all the time and like every couple weekends and then you don't see anybody besides doing Zoom calls. That yeah. Way people who are like family, you know, and we within the con community do refer to each other that way. Yeah. And th there's a reason for that. It's because we do feel that way. And boy, oh boy, how much uh, we're noticing we miss each other now. Right. So I'm glad, I'm glad that they're doing the, the virtual, they're starting to do the virtual cons and groups of people are doing these Zoom chats and like getting together that way, doing, making, making the best of the situation. Yeah. we'll see we'll see how it goes <laughs> yeah you actually talked me into uh getting involved with the fan con mm -hmm. that, how, how you pronounce that the um the phantasm that is it yeah, well, phantasm <laughs> and yeah, for good or ill i was uh working and really didn't have the opportunity to sit in on any of the chat rooms but you seem to have had a a really fun experience with that 
it was it was really cool some stuff with with zoom was not working right for them like they were having a lot of technical issues but it was literally friday night all day saturday all day sunday just on a constant zoom chat with with some of the fans with some of the actors from phantasm and some other movies and it was just really fun like we were all just like chatting like we were buddies you know we could ask we could ask questions in like the little like chat box or we could mm -hmm. like unmute ourselves and ask a question and they were very open and they actually um screened all the phantasm movies at night and um uh gg bannister who is reggie bannister's wife um yeah. she was doing like behind the scenes like commentary throughout them and it was really neat i had a lot of fun that would I'm, be I'm kind of hoping that, that all the conventions, all the virtual conventions are kind of similar because I enjoyed myself. It was, it was worth it. Yeah. I didn't have a chance to sit in on any of that, but I did still go and uh, get one of Reg Reggie's autographs because that sometimes is just some, something you just have to do is get mm -hmm. an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> At least one somewhere. <laughs> now, um, I was joking to you that we were going to do this, but at least I am going to do this. But um, we did a bunch of photos together in Baby, the supernatural car, and oh, yeah. I got this shirt. Ta-da! At that supernatural <laughs> con, and uh, Michelle doesn't have to do it, but she's wearing one of them too. Woo! Ta-da! <laughs> and we're both really hoping um, to be able to see each other, and those of you who will be there as well at uh, the creation con in new jersey fingers crossed it happens and if not next year oh man um yeah i'm actually i was actually lucky enough to go to vegas this year for supernatural and um it was right before the start of all this and i i hope that that's not my only convention of the year <laughs> but i'm glad that i was able to at least do one this and year you were sharing some things with me about the no touch that mm -hmm. would you mind sharing that um, with everybody else because that was actually really good for me to hear. Yeah, they they still had the convention even though some people were saying they probably should have canceled it, but there was a no touch policy for photo ops. So you had to like, not like you had to stay six feet apart, but you just couldn't like physically really touch them. You could like stand next to the person and take your picture. And it actually wound up being really fun. Like. I know like some people really want like the hugs from the the guests but I I don't know a lot of people were really creative like they made the best of the situation and a lot of those photos that I've seen were just really amazing how creative people get when when you have to when you have to yeah. be when you can't do your normal like go-to move of like hug 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 um, and then like the um, the team members the staff had to wear rubber gloves when they were handling money or handling anything for the for the guests um, and the attendees but it worked I mean it was fine they still did everything else as, as planned and so I'm kind of hoping that once conventions start that maybe some sort of rule like that'll be in place but it'll work out that it's not like we don't we have to stand six feet apart and you know do that whole thing and right I sure I sure as hell don't want to wear a mask when I'm taking a picture <laughs> so very true yeah well, since we're talking about conventions, uh, I have one more question that come to my mind. I hope you're comfortable answering it. But do you have uh, oh. particular guests who are your favorites to work with? Oh, geez. <laughs> I know nope. you've worked with a lot. <laughs> no favorites. Nope. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, like you said, like like I was telling you, like the Terrifier guys, like Dave and Damien, and they were really cool to work with. They're a lot of fun. Um, I worked with, um, well, Dean Kane. I mean, mm. Dean Kane. <laughs> uh, let's see. PJ Souls. Ah. You, you know who that is, yeah. She's wonderful. She was super cool. Um, and um, let's see. I don't know. I mean, like, I, there was no, I don't want to say anything secret about that. Anybody? There was no really, there's never really a bad, I never really have a bad experience. They're mm. all, they're all fun in their own way. They're either, they're either chill or they're like, all over the place like animated and I just I just run with it <laughs> but yeah I mean they're my like they've been my recent my recent people and of course anybody anybody in Supernatural so <laughs> just take your right. pick <laughs> <laughs> yeah well 
Well, thank you so, so much, Michelle, for spending this time. And it is really good to see you kind of alive and not just on a picture, kind of alive, yeah. <laughs> not giving any hint to what might be happening in Terrifier 2. Um, no hints. Nope. <laughs> but thank you so much. And yeah. thank you for joining us on another episode of Donna Jean's Coffee House. And we'll look forward to seeing you in our grand opening in July when we get the YouTube channel up and going. Awesome. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>